What has it been like? Uh, you've you've owned X for a year now. Oh yeah. Do, do you do you ever wake up in the middle of the night and have a dream that you didn't do it? <laughs> And your life is infinitely easier? Well, it's certainly um, a recipe for trouble, I suppose, or contention. Um, what was it ultimately that led you to make the decision to do it? I mean, this is going to sound uh, somewhat melodramatic, but I was worried about that, that it was having a corrosive effect on civilization. Uh, that it was uh, just having a bad, a bad impact, um, and um, I think part of it is that it, it's where it's where it was located, which is uh, you know downtown San Francisco. Um, and while I, I think San Francisco is a beautiful city, and and we should really fight hard to um, kind of right the ship of San Francisco. If you've walked around downtown San Francisco, right near the X FK Twitter headquarters. It's a zombie apocalypse. I mean, it's rough. Have you have you been been in that area? Not lately. No, yeah. I've heard. It's crazy. I've heard it's crazy. I've heard you you really can't believe it until you actually go there. You can't believe it until you go there. So now you have to say, well, what philosophy led to that outcome? And that philosophy was being piped to Earth. So um, you know, a philosophy that would be ordinarily quite niche and geographically constrained. So the, the sort of the fallout uh, area would be limited. Um, was effectively given an information, a weapon, um, a tech, uh, inf information technology weapon to propagate uh, what is essentially a mind virus to the rest of Earth. Um, and the outcome of that mind virus is very clear if you walk around the streets of downtown San Francisco. It is the end of civilization. And it's not just uh, propagating the mind virus, but suppressing any opposing viewpoints. Yes. Well, in order for the virus to propagate, it must suppress opposing viewpoints. So, Because it doesn't stand up to scrutiny. Correct. 